One of the most devastating things you can do for your personal peace and happiness is worry about things that are outside of your control. And unfortunately, this is an addiction that a lot of people have that you have to break. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna give you some tips to break this addiction so you can be more at peace in the present moment. Because what I'm going for, and hopefully you are too, is a state of equanimity, where you're not getting too high, you're not getting too low, you're just feeling pretty solid, you're feeling peaceful, you're feeling good here and now. And when you give away your happiness, the control of your happiness is something you can't control, well, you're oftentimes gonna end up with a reality that is not fun. It's gonna be a life where you're constantly worried, you're constantly stressed because you can't do anything about those things. You just decided to give away your happiness. When I say that people are addicted to worrying about their problems, what I mean is that they get into this pattern in their own mind where they'd be rather be outraged or angry than deal with the reality of, hey, that might just kinda suck and maybe Maybe it's kind of sad, but it is what it is, and we just have to deal with our reality, let go of the things we can't control, and move forward. Most of us get so addicted to complaining about the stuff that we see on the news, or who the president is, or whether we have to pay taxes, or you name it. We start worrying about these things all the time, we get outraged, we get upset over them, and it's an addiction. We feel better having control, at least, over outrage, instead of feeling this uncertainty of, hey, oh wait, I really can't do much to control those things. And I get it, that's a little bit scary. But although it's scary, wouldn't you rather have peace in the present moment than to give away your happiness over things that you're outraged over? I don't know, that's just me. If you feel similarly, you're gonna like the rest of this video because I'm gonna give you some action steps now. You need to change your personal philosophy and how you view these things. You need to realize that almost everything is virtually outside of our control but there are things that we can influence. And I'll give you some examples, right? Let's say that you have this fear of dying, you know, or dying prematurely, because we're, we're all gonna die eventually. And so you're really worried about dying prematurely. Maybe someone in your family had some disease, cancer, whatever, very common. So you worry about that all the time. But let's look at this fear of dying prematurely for what it is. It's something that we actually can influence in some ways, but we can't control it. Does that make sense? So we can influence it in ways such as eating healthier food, getting lots of sleep, drinking lots of water, giving ourselves lots of good nutrients, doing all the things that we know that contribute to living a long, healthy life. But we can't control whether we walk outside one day and we get hit by a bus. It is what it is. Life is, for the most part, not in our control. But the beautiful thing is there's a lot of things that we can influence to make our lives better. And so I'm gonna help you decipher which is which right now. Here's the exercise. Make a list of all the things that you're most worried about right now. Make a list, however long it is, and just clean it out. You can even think about the things that you're upset about on a regular basis. What are the things that give you the most stress? One side is decide that you can influence. And what I recommend you do is to actually put action plans together for each individual bullet. So whatever that you're worried about and you can influence in some way, definitely take that action. I encourage you to do so. But then this other list is gonna have all this stuff that you can control, right? And you need to say that you're gonna push away this addiction and you're gonna let go of those things right now. And I know that like saying that is one thing, so I made a resource to help you let go of these things you're worrying about so much. It's a meditation, it's short, it's guided. You're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna link it up at the end of the video and I highly recommend checking that out. So now you have a choice to make. You can either live in the suffering of worrying about things you can't control anymore or you can see it for what it really is. You can see that there are things you can influence. If you recognize these things, take some action. Don't be someone who just complains about stuff. And then there's all these other things that we can't control and we're just gonna have to say, hey, we let go of those things because you can't control what you can't control. And like I said, that meditation will be very helpful for helping you do so. I hope that you got some value out of this video today. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, drop any comments or questions you have below. Like the video, hit the bell so you get notified when other videos like this come out. And if you have any personal questions that you wanna get in talk, contact with me about, Definitely go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the Bean Mindset and shoot me a DM. I'm always happy to jam with you there. I'll see you in the next video.